What up, guys? This is Kibo Guys. Back here again with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and play the Games for Windows Live version of Fallout 3. It's the myth, the legend, the secret treasure in the achievement community, Fallout 3 PC. So why is this so legendary, and how do so many people have this game completed? Well, I'm going to explain it to you guys. So first and foremost, the game is worth 1,550 achievement points. As you can see, True Achievement says that most people complete this game in under one hour. And realistically, this is going to take about 5 minutes, 10 minutes at most. This is compared to the 80 to 100 hours that it takes to complete Fallout 3 on console legit. Now, the way that we're able to do this is via a console command feature in the game. This will enable us to simply press add achievement and then the number after to unlock all of the achievements. I'm going to be posting another video after this explaining on how to unlock all of the achievements once you get it working. I want to show you guys something on the True Achievements website. There's a section called games that are GFWL enabled on Steam. These are games for Windows Live games that we can actually play via the Steam Marketplace. This makes it much, much easier than having to track down and pay a lot for a copy on eBay of one of these uh, hard copy games for Windows Live PC games. The problem is for a lot of people, it's really hard getting games for Windows Live to work with all of the Steam games. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get games for Windows Live working so that you can start unlocking some achievements with some old games for Windows Live games starting off with Fallout 3. So next, I want to address cheating, just in case anybody is concerned. So if you check out the cheating policy on TrueAchievements.com, it actually mentions Fallout 3 PC, the Games for Windows Live version, specifically in the cheating policy. So there's a section that says examples that are not considered cheating, and it specifically mentions taking advantage of an in-game console command, Fallout 3 PC. So just know that this is completely legit, guys. You aren't going to get banned or anything like that. Tons of Achievement Hunters actually have this on their profile. So let's dive into how to install games for Windows Live, as well as Fallout 3 PC. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to be referencing an article by Archer Spence. It's called Fallout 3 PC Troubleshooting Guide. It is also on TrueAchievements.com. I'll make sure to insert the link for all of these different True Achievements page in the description below, just in case you guys want to check them out. Now, first and foremost, you need to make sure that you purchase Fallout 3 on Steam. It's $9.99. The game does go on sale often, so oftentimes you can find it for less than $5. You can also buy a code on different outlets online. I'll mention that later in the video. But for now, just make sure that you have the Steam version of Fallout 3. So first part of the troubleshooting guide addresses the game crashing on either Windows 7, 8, or 10. If you are running any of those, Windows 7, 8, or 10, you're going to want to make sure to follow this step. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going into the Fallout launch files. We're going to be adjusting the compatibility settings of the launch files to a previous service pack. This is because the game came out a long time ago. It came out in the Windows XP era. So the game tends to crash upon starting for a lot of people with the current version of Windows. So making the game launch with a previous service pack from the Windows XP era is going to help the game launch smoother. So what we need to do is go to our Steam library. And then next, you want to find Fallout 3 from your Steam library. You want to right click on it. We're going to go down to Manage. And then you want to press Browse Local Files. So we're going to be editing two local files. First and foremost, we're going to be editing just the Fallout 3. You want to go to Fallout 3, you want to right click it, and we're going to press Properties. After you press Properties, you want to go to the Compatibility tab. Then you want to go to the Compatibility mode, and you want to switch it to Windows XP Service Pack 3. Then you want to go to Run the Program as the Administrator, press Apply, and then OK. We want to do the same thing for the Fallout Launcher. Go to Properties, Compatibility, change the compatibility to XP Service Pack 3. Make sure to click Run the Program as the Administrator there at the bottom. After you click that, go ahead and press Apply and OK. 
So that's going to prevent the game from crashing. That's going to fix any errors that you have in terms of the game launching itself. Now the game should launch just fine. I also want to mention, you really don't need a new computer to get these achievements. You don't actually need to start the game. You just need to get into the main menu. So if you're someone with an older computer and maybe you don't have a new computer with a big old graphics card or anything like that, no big deal. This game is from the Windows XP era, so you should be able to download it and get your achievements. Any modern laptop should be able to run this, even if it's bare bones. And when I say run this, I mean just get into the main menu so you can unlock the achievements. Alright, so the next part of this troubleshooting guide focuses on getting the Games for Windows Live to work. So when you download a Games for Windows Live game from Steam, it is the game. However, it doesn't necessarily include the Games for Windows Live files that we need to successfully log in and get achievements. We are going to need to install three different files. I'm going to be including a link in the description below. I'll try to just upload it to Google Drive or Dropbox for you guys. That way you have all three files in the same place. But first, we need to install the Games for Windows Live Marketplace. So simply press the file, get it installed. I mean, as long as you're somewhat, you know, tech savvy, you should be able to install a program on Windows. It's not really hard at all. After that, you need to make sure that you log in uh, with your gamer tag into the Games for Windows Live Marketplace. It's not going to show your actual achievement score or anything in there, so don't be tripped out if it shows zero. After that, we can go ahead and install our next file, which is the live redistributable setup. Man, that's a hard word to say, redistributable. So make sure that you get that second one installed. And then the third link is going to send you to this page right here. Just go ahead and press download. This last one is for the Windows Live Essentials. After you have all three programs uh, installed, make sure that you restart your computer. It may even require you to restart your computer in between the three of those installs. So after you got all three of them installed, you want to make sure that you have the Games for Windows Live Marketplace running in the background for the uh, Games for Windows Live login to work when you go into one of these Steam games. So once that's popped up, we're going to go ahead and start up Fallout 3 via Steam. So the next problem we're going to run into is that it's going to ask you for the product key for the Games for Windows Live game. So next, I want to talk about how to solve this issue. This is also in the troubleshooting guide on TrueAchievements.com. Now, the Games for Windows Live key is a 25-digit key, similar to the length of the Xbox keys. Now, your Games for Windows Live key is separate from your Steam key. So your Steam key won't work. It's not even long enough. Now, there's a couple different ways to get a key, even if you don't have the physical copy. Now, this is going to require us to buy another game, unfortunately. However, you got to do what you got to do. Luckily, we can find some pretty good deals um, on these games to get the games for Windows Live keys. So what we need to do is go into Steam. We're going to go ahead and look up some prices real quick. First, we're going to be looking up Battle Stations Midway. This was another games for Windows Live game. So when you buy this, you're also going to get, you know, another game, Games for Windows Live game. So it's going to be worth it. But this one is only $6.99. So when you buy this, we're actually going to get access to a Games for Windows Live key. I'm going to show you guys how to find your key once you purchase the game. Another game that will give you the Games for Windows Live key is Kane and Lynch Dead Men. So I'd recommend purchasing both of those. That will give you three Games for Windows Live games total. You'll be able to get a separate achievement list in each of them. But not only that, you'll have two Games for Windows Live keys for yourself. And not to mention, each of those keys actually works three different times. And on top of that, it'll activate up to three Games for Windows Live games. Let me explain. So if we go over to Battle Station specific in my library, if I right click it, I can go down to, I believe it's Manage. If you hover over Manage, it's going to say CD Keys. This isn't available for every game, but it's going to be available for Battle Station Specific and Kane and Lynch Dead Men. That'll show you your product code for the game. As you can see, if I look at Kane and Lynch Dead Men, it'll show my product key in there as well. The Club is also another one that will show you your CD key. If you go to Manage and CD Keys, that will show you the 25 digit code, which you can use to activate any Games for Windows Live game once you get it started up. Now, the reason that Steam does this is because, you know, back in the day with old PC games, 
you used to have to download and redeem your game with the code that you got in the physical version. So some of these old school games still need to have that code inserted to play them. So Steam has that little hidden CD keys feature in some of the games. Now I would be able to use either the club, the battle stations, or the Kane and Lynch product code to activate my Fallout 3. Because as I mentioned before, the codes are universal. As long as you have a Games for Windows Live key, you'll be able to activate any of the games once you have it. Now, as I mentioned before, Fallout 3 is $9.99 on Steam. You do not need to purchase the Game of the Year edition. We'll still be able to unlock all of the achievements in the regular version. Uh, via the console command. As I mentioned before, there are some resellers online where you can find these games a little bit cheaper. For instance, G2A.com. You can find a code for Fallout 3 on Steam for less than five bucks. I mean, there's many sellers. I actually believe this is where I purchased my Steam key for the game. Like with any website like this, you just want to make sure that you check out the seller. Make sure that it is a well-reviewed seller, that it doesn't have any complaints and that they've done a lot of transactions. If you click a listing, let's say the first one, the one for $3.19, it looks like it's a global key, which is perfect. That means that I'll be able to activate it regardless of where I live in the world. Now, once it's loaded up, we're going to look over to the right-hand side. It looks like the seller is called World of Games. They have a 95% positive feedback. So look at that, that's like a perfect example. This seller has had over 24,000 transactions. So obviously, you know, you're going to get your key. You also want to make sure that it's instant delivery so that you get it right away. So this is going to be a cheap way to get your hands on the Games for Windows Live version of Fallout 3. That happened to be the Game of the Year edition as well. Now you can try to look up some other Games for Windows Live games here on G2A. However, the Battle Station price is pretty much the same. And the Kane and Lynch, they don't have Dead Men, they only have Dog Days. So you might as well just buy those from Steam. They're only like six or seven bucks. Well worth it to be able to get your hands on an old Games for Windows Live game. On top of that, it seems that they're starting to go ahead and update a lot of these Games for Windows Live games on Steam so that we can't get the achievements anymore. I believe it was recently announced that they're doing that to Grand Theft Auto 4. As of right now, I'm not too sure what it takes to prevent that update from them trying to take out Games for Windows Live. But maybe I'll end up making a video one day on the Grand Theft Auto 4 Games for Windows Live Edition. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and start up Fallout 3 and make sure that it works. Once we get into the main menu, what we want to do is press Live. After that, it's going to pop up the Games for Windows Live. You want to press Use Existing Live Profile. Go ahead and type in your email and password associated with your gamertag. That way you can get logged in. Next, it's going to ask you for that product key. Make sure that you paste the product key from the section that I showed you in the Steam library. You can find your product key by right clicking either Battle Station, Kane and Lynch, or the club, for example, and getting that product key. You can use it again to activate up to three games for Windows Live games. This is the last time that you have to input it. You just need to make sure to input it once. After that, games for Windows Live will remember the fact that you have the game. I also want to foreshadow that it does load pretty slow when logging into the first time. If you get like a little loading pinwheel that says, please wait, don't be discouraged. You actually just need to wait a long time and eventually it will load. You will know you're good to go once you officially log in. It'll show your gamer tag on the upper left hand corner along with your current gamer score. Now keep an eye out for my next video to show you how to get all of the achievements. 1,550 points here in Fallout 3 PC, the Games for Windows Live version. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.